There's a fine line between a love and an addiction. One is beautiful and the other can be very harmful. That's true about most things, even food. And with us now is therapist, addictions expert, and psychologist, Dr. Brenda Schaefer. She's going to tell us how to put love back in the kitchen. Thanks a lot for coming in this morning. Thank yeah, you. your, your overall theory is that the way we, what we eat and how we look at food can, can, can affect the way we feel in life. Exactly, and some we know that foods have certain chemicals in them and people can become addicted to them, but we also know that our fast pace of living and the way we're uh, introducing children, so many children overweight, etc. And most of what I see in in my office is about eating disorders. And, and so much focus on the negative. On the that negative. Basically, food is always right. looked at. There's always something negative right. about what we're right. eating. And there are very few, even young people, that know and appreciate food and how to prepare it. And, you know, the kitchen used to be a good word, and people used to gather, you know, now around the holidays, people love to gather in the kitchen and uh, and prepare meals and share meals. There was a lot of love involved. And the other thing, too, John, is that, that everything is energy. And if we're negatively uh, thinking about our food or preparing our food or not liking preparing food, it's going to be felt it's going to be in the in the food itself what are your what are your suggestions you've got some things well that you want yeah to the first thing we need to do is examine any negative attitudes and the misuse of food and the second thing is look at food as as a creative art uh -huh. and plan prepare and share your food with intention Make you know I love special. to be served you know and and it means even uh, I had a friend who went and purchased an avocado and an orange and as he as he looked at them you could see he savored them which is experienced food as a total sensual experience Get back into that not just right. a function of filling the right. stomach just fill it, fill something it up, pleasurable but, okay right. And then savor the experience, but most important, teach children at a young age how to appreciate and prepare food. My daughter, who's with me, she's a gourmet cook, and she started when she was very little. My son even cooks. <laughs> but it, it's like they need to appreciate good food, quality food, and to be able to use it put it together as an art, and then serve it wow. with love. All right, great idea. And not only do I feel better about myself, but I'm hungry right okay. now talking about all this food. Thanks a lot for coming in. Great ideas. All right, thank Dr. you. Dr. Brenda Schaefer.